Hey, what's up guys, Stefan here. Today, we're gonna be working on an 80s funk beat. I started this beat off by sampling the drums from a popular 80s track. There was nothing special in the sampling here, so we're not really gonna go into it because all I did was chop out the first four bars of the song. I kept the same tempo and everything. That's the beauty of songs from the 80s going backwards. They all had super long intros with no vocals. So it's super simple to actually just chop them out and then repurpose them if you like. So we're gonna jump ahead and go straight on to the bass because it's funk, the bass is everything. Now, contrary to my thumbnail, I'm actually using synth bass here. I'm a keyboardist, I'm not a bass player by it any means. So for the bass I'm using a synth called Tyrell N6. Now just last Sunday we looked at this synthesizer in my top three free plugins. So if you're interested in downloading this synthesizer you can find it in the link in the description below or in the top right corner of this video. <laughs> So when creating this bass line, the groove was the most important part. So I've got a lot of short notes in this piece here and there's a lot of movement going on. And I'm using the modulation wheel on some of the notes just to get that 80s feel. But what I've noticed is that the bass is lacking quite a bit of low end. Um, the track's not really getting it from the, the kick and it's not getting it from this current bass. And there needs to be at least one element that's bringing that bass um, to the track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a sub bass and I've got this one here from Massive. Now you can get sub basses from Logic, there's so many, it doesn't have to be Massive but this is what I've chosen for today. <laughs> So now that's sounding a lot better, it's sounding more full as well. And if you notice, I'm actually working with 10 bars here as opposed to eight. And the reason why I've done this is I wanted to create a real build at the end of the chorus, you know? So the chorus comes sort of coming to an end, but then we lift it one more time just to bring it out and bring it to the verse. But to continue fleshing out the track, I'm gonna add some chordal elements, um, a couple of synths just playing some chords. <laughs> So there I've got one synth playing a rhythmic pattern, keeping the movement strong in the track, uh, just playing one chord on every beat. And then I've got a pad just going underneath it just to fill up the gaps. Now it's very common in these 80s tracks to have these signature lines, these motifs or riffs that are very catchy that come in and out in the track. So now I've chosen to do this with this bell synth I have here from Logic. <laughs> Now what I've played here really sets us up nicely for like a call and response. So I've got the, the bells playing this line here. And then I can have another instrument come back with another line in response to that. So I've got this brass synth here, um, very 80s-ish. And I'm going to play a response to that bell line. <laughs> So with that brass line, that response, I actually played it in twice. The last time over bars 9 and 10 to really have that lift. And then I'm going to add another instrument, a synth uh, string sound, to really add that majestic level, for want of a better word, just to lift us out of the chorus. Now that sounds really big and it set us up nicely to drop everything out 
for the verse. The verse is going to be a lot more calm, a lot less movement, um, and it's going to rely mainly on the groove of the bass. So like I said in the verse here now, we're just going to simplify it and we're also limiting the chordal movement. We're going to sit on one chord for the majority of it. Okay, so midway through the verse, we can actually begin to lift it, introduce new elements, just to keep the listener interested. So I've brought back the pad and it's just lifting it just a, a, a small amount. As well as this, we want to bring back our bell synth and bring back a, a, a motif, just a, a musical phrase to say, hey, the chorus is coming back, get ready. So with this musical phrase, I've built it upon three different parts. And with each one, the, the last note of the musical phrase kind of dictates where the song is going. The first note is like an introduction to the musical phrase. It's saying there's still more to come. And then on the end of the second phrase, so the, the second note, it's saying just one more time. Give me this phrase one more time. And then on the last note here, it's saying this is the end. The verse is finished. Let's move on to another part. Let's move on to the chorus. So we've already looked at the chorus, so we're actually going to skip straight on to the bridge. So it's going to be the same principle as the verse. We're going to strip it down in terms of chordal movements. So it's really going to stay in one particular place um, harmonically, but then we're going to have the bass do most of the work. The bass is going to do the groove. And I've also got some effects that I'm going to throw in um, just to to make it sound that bit more epic as well. We're going to add a bit more brass and strings in there just to make it sound big and, and the bridge is the part in the track where you know everything can just change. But that's it guys, yeah, that's my 80s funk track. Remember you can download the synth Tyro N6. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment in the comment section below and subscribe for more videos just like this. I've been Stefan and as always, happy beat making.